I'd like to introduce Dr. Joy Bracewell. She is our Writing Center Director. She's been here one year? One two, year. One year. Take <laughs> All right, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> all right, you all are in the home stretch. So as uh, Dr. Gordon said, um, my name is Dr. Bracewell and I direct the Writing Center and that is located in the library across the street. Who's been in the library here? So not all of you, yeah, some of you. I recommend that you walk around the library and just kind of see what kind of spaces you might want to use to study or crash, you know, before or after a class. Um, there's some computers in there you can use. And of course, the writing center's in there. Um, and also, introducing yourself to the librarians is never a bad idea. So behind you, I've got this kind of scary image of scariness going on up there <laughs> with the subtitle, The Grammar Police Are Coming For You. So that's a little bit of a joke, but um, I put that in there because some people feel like this when they start writing and it's not a very good feeling and you may not think of this at all, but you, you may have this, you know, red pen in the sky that when you start writing you feel like somebody's going to take that red pen and come after you. Um, so the Writing Center is kind of here to take that feeling away. Um, and there's a couple of things that you can do to, to, to make that feeling lessen and to actually focus on your task. So use the Writing Center to get on a schedule and use the Writing Center to revise. And when I say revise, I don't mean edit. So think, think about what you think about when editing. So think that. Okay, I'm editing my paper. What do you do? Anybody brave enough to say, what do you do when you edit? What's that? Make corrections? Okay, so make corrections. So you're thinking of maybe I'm changing words around, I'm, you know, fixing citations, I didn't, you know, my subject verb agreement wasn't right. You're looking at those fine tuning, editing things. When I say revise, what do you think about? Anybody? Okay, so nobody's speaking up, so I'll tell you what I think about when I think about revising, and that is moving paragraphs around, maybe, you know, fine-tuning your thesis or even changing your thesis, which would mean really going through each paragraph, changing topic sentences, changing evidence, finding new articles for research. So when I'm saying the word revise, I'm saying some kind of can be massive changes um, to your writing. Now, it doesn't have to happen that way. You know, you don't have to have massive changes. But revision is it about looking at something again when you're, um, when you're farther along in the process and seeing how things have evolved because things evolve when you write. So um, I want you to think about what do you prioritize when it comes to writing? So how do you go about that? Do you pull up a document? Do you start researching? So think about your practices now. Now, how have those practices served you so far? Have they served you well? If so, then maybe you can build on that. If not, maybe think about changing, tweaking um, to be a better writer in the future. So writing takes time, but it isn't magic. So some people struggle at writing. Some people are very strong writers. Um, but expert writers and professional writers aren't geniuses. They don't wake up and write books in a day. They revise and they write every day and it is a painstaking, time-consuming process. So writing takes time. Okay, going along with that, writing is a process. Some of you all may be familiar with this, this writing process that is behind me. Brainstorming, free writing, outlining, research, drafting, revising and editing. And all of those things can kind of go back. When you're revising, you may, may decide you need to research, so you go back to that stage. Maybe you decide you're kind of off in an area, so you brainstorm a smaller part of your, of your paper again. 
So the Writing Center can help you prioritize. Because of the grammar police, <laughs> um, writers, a lot of people when they write, they tend to get onto those lower order or local concerns very quickly. They think about what word do I need here? Uh, is this a sentence fragment? They think about those lower order concerns and they don't give themselves time and they don't focus as much as they need to on those higher order concerns or those global issues, the thesis, your organization and development. So those are the things that show your engagement. That's the cognitive um, engagement with your material. That's the real stuff there. So those lower order concerns and local issues are extremely important, but the higher order concerns are the higher order concerns. Um, so the Writing Center can help you make sure that you're focusing on those things and a way to do that is to start writing early and schedule yourself time to write. So to summarize this part, schedule time for the writing process. Go back from when your projects or papers are due and start earlier than you think you need to. Um, and then prioritize and identify the things in your writing um, that have to do with those higher order concerns versus the lower order concerns. Um, so how the Writing Center can help you is to help you with that scheduling um, process. Um, and we do that face to face in the library or online. So to use the Writing Center, you actually never have to physically be in the Writing Center. You can call us to make an appointment, you can schedule an appointment online, and then you can actually have your appointment online. Um, that being said, I think that the, the, each writing session goes a lot more quickly and um, is a lot more useful if you can do it face to face. But online tutoring is good as well. So we can help you even when you first get an assignment. So if you're starting out and you're trying to understand what it is your professor is asking you to do, we can actually help you think through what you need to do for that assignment. Um, of course, we can help you develop research questions uh, depending on your interests and what you're being asked to do. Um, help you with that planning stage and then developing a thesis and then going about writing your draft um, and then managing your projects. And the last thing is what people usually think about when they think about us, which is how, how do I cite, you know, using APA, that sort of thing. And we can definitely help you with that. But um, just think about all the other things that go into the writing process and all the other ways that the Writing Center can help you. So Dalton is a consultant you might um, schedule with if you come to the Writing Center. Brittany as well. She's a, actually a College of Ed minor. Um, me in the middle. Lauren and then Gen C. So these are students. They've been trained to help you. Um, but they also kind of understand what you're going through. So they're going through their own writing sentence, uh, assignments. They've, they've been through projects. Dalton's in the College of Business so he's done PowerPoints. We can help you with presentations. So they understand kind of some of the things that you, you may be experiencing, but they're also trained to help you as well. So remember um, when you come to the Writing Center, and by the way, the Writing Center is absolutely free. So as an Athens State student, you can use us as often as you want and you will never have to pay for that. It's a service offered as part of being a student here. Also, I also want to reiterate, I think it was implicit in what I was saying, but the Writing Center isn't for bad writers or people who only struggle with writing. Um, one of the people who worked in the Writing Center last fall when she, uh, she knew her capstone was coming up this fall, the first thing she did was schedule out every two weeks her Writing Center appointment. So this is somebody who writes the, for the school newspaper and manages a, a, a journal for writing at Athens State. So she's an excellent writer. Um, but she uses a writing center because she knows that writing is a process. So consultants can serve as a sounding board, so help talk through your ideas. They can show you what you're doing well so you can build on that. And of course, they can show you where um, you have some weaknesses or you have errors and teach you how to deal with that yourself in the future. 
Um, so consultants don't edit your project. So everything that you do when you come to the writing center is yours. So you're responsible for your own intellectual property, for your own intellectual progress, for your own academic career here. So that means that you're the one who is learning how to make these changes and you're deciding when to implement what the consultant, um, the options the consultant might, might ask you to, to uh, implement. Uh, also, we don't talk about grades. It's, it's not useful during the session. And also, your consultant is a student. So um, it would be highly inappropriate for Brittany to say, this looks like a C to me, you know, but I think if you do this, it'll be an A. So I think, you know, the, your professors in the College of Ed would probably get a little bit angry <laughs> if we started doing that. And it's, it's not useful um, during sessions. And again, you know, this is your writing. So, you know, you take all the glory when it goes well. Um, and so the consultant there is there to guide you, but it's your responsibility to decide what you need to do to succeed in the next stage of that writing process. So here's a video of how to sign up for sessions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our website has all the information you need about how to join a session, how to sign up. You can always call us, um, feel free to call me, email us, anything that works for you in terms of communication. If you Google Athens State Writing Center, our page comes right up. And you can also find us by navigating the website. So if you've never been, you would click down here for a first time appointment and register. You could also click here to do that. It's a really simple, easy registration process. And of course, I highly recommend our services. It's free to use us. Um, you will only benefit, and it can take that pressure and stress, uh, it can lessen it a little bit and help you kind of be more proactive and intentional about uh, those writing projects and communication projects that you'll have in your classes here. So I hope you'll visit us and feel free to ask me any questions that you have and I hope the rest of your day goes well. You're welcome. Because I read a lot of student work because of those philosophy papers and um, you know, it's not that you're, uh, that you're a bad writer, you can't write, you just need some more practice and some more skill. But it's not just for the writing the paper, it's like article critiques, um, discussion board posts, like she was saying, just lots of, uh, like to write a thesis statement. Who remembers how to write a thesis statement? I have to go look that up. But you can write one and then you don't have to go face to face. You get on the chat and say, is this a good thesis statement? Boom. Or how about an abstract? You're going to have to write an abstract. They're good. They can help you with those things. Okay, now we are finished. You have made it through.